Good evening on what is, I regret to have to report, a pretty unpleasant night. The rain has been lashing down here. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, and I'm joined as always by Lee Dixon. And it's a second leg match in the round of 16 stage in the Europa League. It's Barcelona facing Milan. Yeah, thanks, Derek. We had a cracker of a first leg, plenty of action at both ends, goals. How important is that away goal rule? We're just about to find out. This is what we expect from the Blaugrana. Well, we normally know going in how they're going to play, Lee. It's all about ball control, possession. What that does is get you up the pitch with possession and a lot of numbers around the ball. The weakness of this is if you lose the ball, you have to win the ball back early. So there will be a high press following if they were to lose a ball in the opposition half. And Milan's lineup looks like this. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. more on the injury let's go down to our reporter Jeff Shreves real concern for the French now because it looks like he landed with his elbow underneath his body well visionary passing Suso and there's the goal they really wanted for security wonderful chance of progressing now Well, as we look at this again, the keeper's every right to ask where his back line was, but 2v1 in the end, he's thinking now, is he going to pass or go round? But he's got no chance. Malcolm. Suarez. Now Busquets. Good ball movement and a decent position here for Barcelona. Running towards goal, one man to beat. And a goal to level the contest on aggregate and on away goals. Can they be separated, these two? We could be heading for extra time. Well, just look at this. They all back off him and he takes the advantage. He goes through one, two, three. In the end, it's a wonderful solo goal. A chance to revisit the goal. And over comes the corner. Taking care of business defensively here. And it's played into the centre. And a no-nonsense clearance. And a timely goal to give them security and breathing room. What a chance they have now of making it through. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does and he scores. And the goal that was scored... Well worth another look, Lee. And now Rodriguez. And it's gone in! The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, here's the replay. I'm sure the keeper will be looking at his defenders, but what can they do? It's a lovely strike off his laces in the back of the net. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Oh, in. This is Biglia. Is he going to punish them here? Suso! And this time, it's in! Well, he 
it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. Well, a bit more analysis as regards the goal. Lost the ball. Coutinho. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. And Messi with the goal. It's always strange when he doesn't get on target. Wow, what technique. When the ball comes to you and you don't need a touch and you can just whack it first time like this. What a goal. And the goal that was scored, well worth another look, Lee. And Messi. It's a perfect challenge. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Suso with it. Oh, he's through here. Only the keeper to beat. And a goal! Well, when we see this again, it is a wonderful effort. A solo effort. Not a question the defenders. They just back off him, and he takes full advantage. Have another view of that goal. PK with it. Effective challenge. And so the referee blows his whistle full time here. Only one side could go through, and in the event, that side, Milan. Well, you can't say, Derek, they didn't deserve it. By far the better team over two legs. All departments of their team was functioning well. The midfield dominated, and up front they were clinical.